So welcome back to another video. Now today I'm out to target absolutely anything. Um, I've got the day off today and I was just driving up the coast. We've got a southerly wind today so I was around the north of the island. I thought to myself I'm going to stop off and just have a flick for absolutely anything. Now there's a couple of marks around here. Um, one very popular mark, Fort, Fort Doyle, which I'll probably chuck a metal off or a soft plastic or something like that. There is an outside chance of a pollock. I mean, the pollock fishing from the shore over here is pretty poor, unless you're in the uh, really remote places, targeting them at the right time. But there is a chance of a little pollock off there. There's also a chance of a wrasse or something like that, maybe a garfish. Now, one of the marks I'm gonna fish first, I'm just gonna have a dozen casts um, for a bass quickly. Um, I've had a few bass off here, although I've not been to this specific mark in probably about three years, I reckon. Um, it's usually good in the summertime. You get mul multiple species here, so we'll have a quick flick here, and then we'll move on to Fort Doyle, have a few chucks off there, see if we can find anything, and if not, I might head along the bay and uh, try for a bass again. Really just out to just cruise about, enjoy it, chill out, and uh, yeah, see if we can find a fish or two today. Now luckily we got very very small tides today because on the big tides when there's a swell running this is one of the last places you want to be but let's give it a quick try here for a bass now you never know we might get lucky it's always worth a flick i'm just working a diving lure We'll see if we can find anything. There's a big wave coming. Well, I certainly saw that. Just had a big swirl on the surface right behind the lure. That's right over there. Just got to be so careful with the swell coming in here because can't get too close to the edge here that must have been a bass that swell was much too big for a garfish that must have been a bass first cast off Fort Doyle just said two hits then I'm fishing really close to the bottom, but it could have been a wrasse. It's hard to tell. Whatever it was, is obviously no monster, because this is actually quite a big lure. As you can see, it's quite a big lure. It's four inches long. It's 23 grams, but I need the weight because it's deep water. And you get a lot of tide that runs through here, so you need the lure, the lure won't just sink straight to the bottom, it gets washed about in the tide and sort of drops like that. So you need a bit of weight to, uh, to get anywhere near the bottom really. What I'd really hope for is a pollock off here, but as I said, it's pretty difficult catching pollock from the shore, or especially anything, anything over a pound in places like this. Oh, I'm into a fish here. I have absolutely no idea what it is. It took really close to the bottom. I wonder if it's a pollock. God, it's so deep. Come on. There's a big rock down there, which I don't want it to head to. Oh, there we go. Ah, it is a pollock. Got it to the surface. Lovely golden looking pollock there. Lovely stuff. Hopefully it stays on. I think it could possibly be foul hooked. Ugh. Come on, stay on there. Whee. Oh, there we go. Lovely stuff. 
Well, it paid off in the end. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, let's get that hook out. I was just chucking a metal, changed over to a small metal. Um, pliers all seized up. Oh, my pliers are so seized up, I need to oil them. But yeah, just changed over to a small metal. This is uh, one of the Jigpara's 20 gram metal there. We got ourselves a little pollock. There we are, lovely little winter pollock. Thank you very much, buddy. Let's get you back. Well, I'm happy about that. I was worried that pollock wasn't gonna make it then. Now it's too small to keep, but um, as I threw him back, he was on the surface for a little bit, but he's just kicked down and swam down to the bottom. So happy about that. Now, uh, yeah, I just changed to a little metal. I wasn't getting anything on the, uh, the Sidewinder, uh, not the Sidewinder, the Savage Gear Sand Deal, sorry. So I just put a little Major Craft Jig Paro. This is only 20 grams, but this is a little metal there. Now I was gonna remove the treble hook to avoid getting snagged up on the bottom, but I haven't got any split ring pliers with me. Um, so I've just decided to leave it on, but that fish was caught. I cast at range then and let it sink all the way to the bottom. It takes quite a while for the lure to sink, with it only being 20 grams and it's very deep here. Um, and then yeah, just a couple of wines and then boom, has something on. So let's see if we can maybe catch another little pollock, anything just to provide a bit of fun. It does take ages to sink. This lure. So what I've been doing is literally I cast out and then I leave my thumb on the spool like that. Wait for, an, uh, wait for the line to tighten up so you can feel the lure. Just pop it about so you can feel it. And I little, let a bit more line off, stop it again. And I just do that until I get right to the bottom or get very briefly snagged up. And then I just quickly lift it out the snag, winding the slack. So that's near the bottom now. And then just bounce it about. And that is all there is to it. You do lose a bit of contact with the lure because with it only being 20 gram, and as I said, you've got loads of tide that runs through here, so. Oh, oh that's a snag. I thought it was a fish then. But that's where you want to be, right to the bottom. As close to the bottom as possible. That's where most of the fish you're gonna pick up here this time of year are gonna be. In the summer, you can fish the, uh, the mid range of the water, like the mid column of the water. And obviously you're gonna get mackerel and... Oh. That one nearly didn't come out. Bloody hell. Yeah, obviously you're gonna get mackerel and garfish, things like that. But this time of year, close to the bottom, might be lucky to pick up a bream, or it's gonna be little juvenile pollock, wrasse, pout, and that sort of thing. But I nearly lost that lure on two occasions on this one cast then. Big fish. I've no idea what this is, but bloody hell that went some. Just tighten my drag and that. I really don't know what this is. This could be a big pollock. It doesn't feel like a wrasse, but this is a bloody good fish. But I don't know how the hell I'm going to get it up. I just put that other camera on. I really hope it's recording. Jesus! Can't even see it. What the hell is this? Still really deep. I can't see it. This is freaking 
good fish. It's got to be a pullet. Yeah, it is. It's got to be. It's a massive pullet. Jesus Christ. Right. <laughs> Stay on there. I think, oh, it's foul hook, I think, that's why. Oh, no, no, no. Right, how the hell am I going to do this? Shit. Right, I'm going for it. I think. Oh no! Right, come on. Boom! That's a bloody lovely bollock. Foul hooks, but who cares? Sorry about the language, but honestly, didn't have a clue what that was. It felt gigantic because it's foul hook, that's why. But bloody hell. Let's get the other camera set up. Bloody hell. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there was a part of me when I hooked that fish. The reason why it felt, so it's a decent sized pollock. A pollock of that size from the shore, me personally, I'm happy with that. Really, really, really am. But when that fish hit, uh, hit I was expecting it was gonna be like a big six pounder or something. I even thought, bloody hell, is this a big bass? But Jesus, yeah, I mean, obviously because it was foul hooked, it's diving down and you're bringing it up sideways, so it feels much heavier than it is. But as soon as it hit the lure, it's, I thought I got snagged at first, and then all of a sudden the reel just went zzzz, like that. I thought, bloody hell, what have I hooked here? But that's a lovely fish that just got it on hooked, and I'll give you a little show. That's a lovely chunky pollock, that. That's an easy three and a half, easy. It could be pushing four pounds, but I'd say it was just under four. But well, I'm really, really happy with that. That's an excellent fish. Now, that one's going to be coming home on the table, without a doubt. There we go. 55. 55 centimetre Pollock. Big, fat, bad boy. Oh. Well, I'm going to get myself sorted. Now, I do apologise about the language. <laughs> I was more concerned about getting it up and onto the rocks. That was my main concern. When you hook a fish like that, you just want to see it. It stayed deep for so, so long. I literally didn't see it until it came right close to the rocks there. There's a sort of little ledge below these rocks as well, and I could feel it trying to dive down. So, uh, yeah, that's why I was panicking a little bit. But, oh man, I'm really, really happy with that. I mean, as I said, you know, you get some small pollock off here. I was kind of expecting to catch one, which we did first of all, but I was definitely wasn't expecting a nice three and a half, four pound fish like that. I really wasn't. So yeah, that's great. Um, now I'm going to pop back to my car, I think, and grab a drink. And then uh, I'm going to come back down and we'll give it a few more flicks. So it's doubtful, but let's see if luck strikes twice. Go back in for another cast. Now that fish actually took fairly close in, to be honest. I'd say maybe about 20 meters out. But again, it was right at the bottom. I kept hitting the, the kelp as I was bringing the lure in. So that fish was taken really, really close to the bottom. So fortunate to actually get it up. I saw that the assist hook was uh, in its top fin and as I was lifting it up the rocks, you can see how high up I am. As I was lifting it up the rocks, the assist hook came out, but luckily that uh, treble, so it's a, a good job I kept that treble in actually. <laughs> I wanted to avoid getting snagged up, but there's no way I would have hooked and landed that fish if I didn't have it on there. So after my little session up at Fort Doyle, I've decided to come somewhere else now. Now I did say I was out on a bit of a random one today, targeting anything. 
Um, after I had that pollock, I had about maybe 10 more casts with that little metal, but I had no more hits or no more hookups, obviously. Now I did move along the rocks and I stuck on a top water lure and just fished over a bit of reef, tried for a bass. Had about a dozen casts and again, nothing happening. So I've left that area now, driven down the coast, different side of the island, and I'm gonna just spend 20 minutes here I'm probably going to chuck out a surface lure to begin with. Going to be targeting a bass, obviously, um, but I may stick on a diver as well. So it's relatively flat. The conditions aren't great. The tides are really, really small. So if we do happen to pick out a bass, it's going to be by pure luck, to be completely honest with you. But it's worth a go for 20 minutes. So uh, yeah, let's see if we can maybe find one. So it looks like that's going to do it for my little adventure this afternoon. Um, giving it 20 minutes here, tried two different places, no sign of a bass, which to be honest is what I was expecting. Now it was worth a try anyway. Um, I'm still really pleased about getting that Pollock off the shore. Um, I'm pretty sure that's a, a, lure, a lure court Pollock PB for me. So um, yeah, really, really happy about that. Now it's been a fun few hours. Um, I've actually stayed out longer than I usually would but hoping to get a, a bar of silver to top off the video, but wasn't meant to be today. Now, if you do want to check out some bass fishing videos, uh, the last two videos I put up on my channel, um, are both lure fishing for bass, when I had a bit of success on some surface lures, so go check them out. Um, to any other bass anglers that are local uh, to Guernsey, if you're interested in joining the club, um, I've recently joined, I joined just last week, which is uh, G Bass, which is the only bass club left over here um, at the moment. So. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, you get quite competitive people in there, but there's a lot of people who do it just for fun. Um, and obviously, you can just learn along the way. So I'm really excited about this year ahead. I'll be targeting bass a bit more often, I suppose, um, hoping to get some, some fish to, to measure in. Um, so yeah, if you're a local bass angler and you're interested in joining that, go over to the G-Bass website. All the details are on there, the rules, um, the applications to join. I think it's 30 pound now. Um, so if you are interested, go check that out. Support a great cause and um, yeah, just promote some great bass fishing in Guernsey, catch and release fishing. Um, so what couldn't be better? Now I'm gonna leave the video there. Um, thanks very much for joining me today. Uh, I hope to see you on the next one. So until then, catch you soon.